Okay, you guys. Hi, I believe um, Quan and Alan did this in class to some extent, but I realized uh, at the end of class we forgot to do this diagram, which you'll need to do for the homework. So this is just a quick example of how to transfer scale. If you imagine this blue line as being uh, one vertical part of your cube that you're trying to transfer, and you want to put this, you want to take this cube and you want to put it here. This is how you do it. Um, so you can start anywhere. You can put your your desired location anywhere and if you draw a line from the base of the object through the X you'll find a point on the eye level and it'll look like that now once you get to this point on the eye level we're going to call it reference point one you draw back to the top of the object and that transfers the height to this location so it looks like that now this is really easy but it's also really fundamental um, it basically creates a scale going all the way back to you know in space of what that height looks like at all these different locations so it essentially does this it creates a ruler that's foreshortened into space showing you how how tall to make the object going all the way back to the eye level now this not only is useful for doing verticals but if you take the object and you rotate it over like this that works too because all you did was rotate the object. You did not move it forward or backward in space, so that's completely legitimate. So then you can take a horizontal and you can transfer it back using the same method to, to another location back here and go from the second one to a third one. Um, and I could do the vertical as well if I wanted to. Uh, so And you do that using another reference point. So that's just a quick video on transferring scale. You should be good to go on the assignment now. So looking forward to seeing what you do. Talk to you soon.